How does climate change affect food supply and how will this affect us? This is Fred. He is enjoying his lunch while watching the news, where he hears a lot about the effects of climate change. He likes the idea of the summertime being 2 degrees hotter, but is worried about how climate change will affect his lunch. The bread and vegetables Fred eats are threatened because climate change comes with an increase in both drought and heavy rain. These changes are both very damaging for all crops. Not only do crops need to deal with increased stress from drought and flooding, they also become more vulnerable to pest species. Sure, irrigation could be a solution for droughts, but increased evaporation will lead to salification of the soil. But what about the rest of Fred's sandwich? The cattle that provides the meat will also suffer from drought and flooding. Fred could always choose to eat fish instead. But fish reserves are already at an all-time low due to overfishing and pollution. Not only that, climate change will also have a negative effect on the fish stock. Carbon dissolves in ocean water, where it creates an acid, increasing the acidity of the water. Calcium binds with this acid, reducing calcium availability for microorganisms. These microorganisms form the base of the entire oceanic food web. So if they are having difficulties, so is everything else. Including Fred's fish lunch. Not only that, climate change will increase the sea temperature, and this is already leading to coral bleaching, and thus coral death. These corals are the place where many baby fish have the opportunity to grow up in safety. Without safe childhoods, many fish won't grow up at all. So Fred might actually be in trouble. Maybe not today, and maybe not tomorrow. But it already affects many people. And it will affect Fred. And maybe even more important for Fred, it will impact his children. But it doesn't have to be this way. By decreasing carbon emissions right now, many of the bad consequences that will hurt Fred and his children can be avoided. And everyone can help. Everyone can make a difference. By eating less meat, by reducing your own energy consumption, by taking the bus or bike instead of the car by supporting your government in taking the right actions by demanding that they meet the goals set by them in reducing their carbon footprint all changes help all changes will improve the world we leave for us and our children